Oh, it's important. Every result's important, but what's uh, more important is just going out and seeing what we've worked on all pre-season and and yeah, seeing our systems in, in place. And um, I'm excited to yeah see our guys going. Had a couple of options there at halfback. What was it you saw from Drew in the pre-season and trials that made you confident that he he should get that shot? Yeah, I was like. Toby had a really good pre-season as well, and as did uh, Birdo and Drew. So it wasn't an easy decision, but you know Drew's Drew's come to us with a lot of experience. He's got a high footy IQ, and he performed really well over the off-season. So um, yeah, he gets the first opportunity. He's, he's trained really well. He's in the best shape of his life. So I'm really excited to see Drew play. Do you see him? Because he, we have seen he can literally play anywhere on the field. But do you see this as a, a long-term move? Well, he's a he's a half. Like he, I know he's played everywhere uh, in his at his former clubs, but he came through the juniors as a half. Um, that's where he feels the most comfortable, and that's that's where his strengths are. So, um, yeah, just really excited to see him start the season and put all the hard work uh, he's done in the off season into practice. And he has had a few tough runs with injury. How much does he deserve this chance at starting spot in the halves? Yeah, well, he's yeah he, he's um, done really well to earn that that job and um, came to us for that opportunity and. He's put in a lot of hard work, so yeah, the, the, he's definitely earned it and excited to see him go. It's expected to be a sellout, like 30,000. How good is it we know Power and Dogs always have a great rivalry, but how awesome is it to start with a Western Sydney derby and sold out as well? Yeah, look, I think our guys are keen to play uh, no matter who they were playing or where they were playing, but it makes it a little bit more special getting to play at Combank. Um, a big stadium and a sold out crowd so our guys are really excited but they would have been excited to play out of the local park they've um they've had a really good pre-season they've worked hard um and they're excited to go i know you've spoken a fair bit over the last few weeks about um why you chose stephen Crichton as captain but do you think in a sense it could actually really benefit birdo and reed as well to allow them to purely just focus on their footy yeah i think so i think um I think those two guys would have learned a lot out of the leadership last year and um, you know they've taken that on board and they've had really good pre-seasons as well so I think Stephen coming in and adding that bit of experience and that lead, those leadership qualities is going to help everyone but yeah, I hope it helps those two as well and, and they're in really good positions to have good seasons. And for someone like Drew who's been at, like, um, in good systems before the Roosters, yeah. what has he brought as a quite a senior player in terms of uh, leadership and not just what he can do as a half, but he seems like a, a really good leader in this group as well. Yeah, he is. Um, you know, when Drew speaks, everyone listens and and he speaks common sense as well. So um, he's got a really good understanding of what our strategy is and, and how we want to go about it. And he's been able to articulate that to the boys. And um, he's done a really good job of that over the preseason. And I'm sure he's going to do a good job come tomorrow night. Do you think captaincy can make Critter an even better player? I think the way Critter goes about his business, he comes into work every day trying to get better and looking for areas to improve. So whether that's captaincy or his natural evolution, he's gonna, he hasn't reached anywhere near his potential yet. So um, yeah, the, the type of person he is, he's, he's gonna get better every day, every year.